Hi guys, Virtus Education here with the 28th video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over Virtus Painting, sorry, sorry about that, Vertex Painting inside UDK, uh, which is one of the many visual features that we have. So what is Vertex Painting? Well, Vertex Painting essentially allows you to swap between two, mo two or more materials um you know at will so this really gives a lot of power to texture artists level designers or whenever you're just trying to mess around with painting your uh static meshes in 3d space and trying to get that level of control but you don't necessarily have with just the uh one texture so i'm going to give you a quick example of what vertex painting can do because i'm having trouble to explain it properly at the moment because i've been asleep for uh, i've been asleep for like three days 6 a.m in the morning anyway so as I quickly go ahead and start painting this, you can see something pretty cool. You can see I'm beginning to paint in another material onto the static mesh that we actually have in our scene. Now this means a great deal to texture artists and so on because you can swap between two different textures. You can also use it to ease the transition from one area to another or, you know, something along those lines, which is pretty badass really. So that's kind of what I'm going to be going over in uh, today's episode alongside uh, creating a mat uh, material that can actually support vertex painting and then I'm going to be going over the mesh paint mode and some of the different properties that we have to play around with so that we can actually uh, paint our you know meshes with the two different um, you know things that we have here which is pretty cool and uh, yeah so hopefully we can uh, get some nice meshes with our very own custom painted stuff on it which should look pretty badass anyway so let's get into it so mesh paint mode can be accessed relatively easy we can do that just by pressing a little paintbrush in the top left hand corner over here however you can't necessarily use this straight off the bat on any Sting, uh, single static mesh you've got to make a material which actually allows for vertex painting so let's go ahead and uh, have a look at what we have in the material that I've created already so firstly you can see we've got a new node that we haven't used yet in the form of a LURP a linear, uh, linear interpolation uh, node I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right but you know that's what it is and then we've kind of got two different textures hooked up into that along with a vertex color this essentially allows the uh, mesh paint mode to uh, choose between two different textures and you can see I'm doing the same for the uh, normal and the diffuse and keep in mind you can do this uh, you can learn pretty much any uh, texture type here so you can do emissive, ma emissive maps, opacity maps, uh, speculars you know you can do pretty Pretty much everything so let's go ahead and uh, start off from the very beginning with a new material just go ahead and right click in your content browser and go to new material and I'm going to call this vertex test and there we go and once we have this uh, we are pretty much at the beginning stages of making this shader what we need now is to find the two textures that we're actually going to be transitioning between uh, when we're working and painting uh, our two textures so let's go ahead and look for something that we can use that's suitable so in this case I'm going to be using um, some wall textures because you know it's really easy to do so I'm just going to quickly drag in the uh, the diffuse and the normal for two wall textures so gladly UDK uh, comes with a bunch of textures which is great and I've decided to use this texture here and I'm also going to be using this texture here the reason for this is to get a nice level of variation so you can clearly see how vertex painting works so if you want the names to check it out here T underscore block wall 02 and T underscore block wall uh, 07 so with this in here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just make sure okay maybe I haven't got it in here yet so with these in here now we're going to try and arrange these in a way that uh, you may look suitable so if I remember correctly this uh, normal map is for this wall and this one is for this one so with this we're going to uh, create a new node in here just type in linear Interpola interpolation node so what this is going to do is just going to allow us to choose between the two so I'm going to make two of these I'm going to hook one up to the diffuse and one up to the normal keep in mind you only need to have one of these if you are only going to be using vertex painting to switch between uh, the diffuse but for now I'm going to be using the two of them 
So what we're going to be doing now is hooking up each uh diffu sorry is setting up each and every single texture uh to make sure that it's in the right area in the sense that when you're uh painting on texture type one it's going to be diffuse and uh normals uh the appropriate ones rather than two completely different normals and two completely different diffusers because it's going to look awkward so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to uh make sure i have the diffuse on uh, the diffuse of texture type one in a and i'm going to have the uh the normal map of uh texture type a in b so let's go in A, sorry, so yeah, make sure these two line up, so A's should be exactly the same, and then B's should be exactly the same, just like this, pretty simple really, and there we go, we have our basic stuff, however this isn't going to work yet, we now need a vertex color to kind of tell it what channel it's going to be painting with, so to do that just go ahead and type in vertex, and then color, and then drag that in. And then just hook that up to either R, uh, red, green, or blue. It doesn't really matter. You can do any one you want. But for now, I'm just going to be using uh, green. Okay, now I'm going to use red because red's cool. And I'm going to make another one of these. Uh, one for both the uh, diffuse and another for the um, the normal. So, with that done, we our material is pretty much complete. And we can finally get into the mesh paint mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. I advise you do the same by actually saving the package. I'm going to go down to where I just saved my um, my material, wherever that may be. And then, and then I'm then going to go ahead and apply it to the wall if you haven't done so already. You didn't see a change in the wall here because... Um, because I already had a very very similar material applied to it so uh, with that we can now open up the mesh paint mode and uh, get into this so let's go into the mesh paint mode just click that and it should come up and boom there we go so to start off just go ahead and uh, click on the mesh that you want to be painting on and you should get a little box around it just to make sure you know you are painting on that alongside a little ring around your cursor uh, which will be kind of stuck to the uh, mesh that you have here so to start off by going over some of the different brush settings that we have here, the, they're pretty similar to some of those brushes that we pl uh, brush settings that we played around with previously. Uh, we've got radius, that's essentially how big or small your brush is going to be. So if I turn this all the way down, it's going to be small. If I turn this up a lot, it's going to be nice and big. Strength is essentially how strong the effect is going to be. If I set this all the way up to 100, it's going to apply really quickly. And then fall off is um, the sort of flow that you have and uh, how easily it kind of transitions between one and another and then we can just change uh, play around with the flow amount also over here we have the channels so over here we can choose which channel we're going to be painting with uh, I chose red in this case because obviously uh, I set the vertex color inside of the content in side of the material to red and that's pretty much everything we need to do now and from here we can just paint onto here to do that just go ahead and control click and you should begin painting if and uh, you'll see we start to change it so I'm just going to quickly press control Z here and I'm going to do that all over again just so you can see me do it so start off and go control click and it should start painting on just like that also if you want to erase it just go ahead and use control shift and it will begin to erase it as you can see it's doing so there and it pretty much worked so I'm just going to quickly paint this again control click and it goes on and then control shift click uh, if you want to get rid of it again so that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. I apologize if I went somewhat fast, but uh, just keep watching it if you don't understand. Uh, before I do end it, I'm just going to give you another look at the material here, just so you can uh, fully understand it. But uh, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.